And as far as uh, this next guy's concerned, here's what he chose to do instead of spying on Beyonce. He used his PPP loans to buy a 2020 Lamborghini. He is from Miami. He's 29 years old. The PPP loans will, in case you're unfamiliar, Paycheck Protection Program. This uh, came in from the government to try to help small businesses stay in business in the midst of a global pandemic. And obviously that would be tough to do. A lot of people uh, were going to lose their jobs. Some, many still did. But this program, it aimed to put money in the pockets of these companies so they could keep making payroll and keep paying rent, presumably, and and all the rest of it. And of course, of course, it gets exploited, mm -hmm. as it would. It's like just like our last story, actually. You can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Mm. You know the old the old saying, or or maybe the bad apple saying. Uh, you can't kill the whole thing because I know for a fact that there's been small businesses that yeah. needed this money and were really honest about it and only took what they needed. But then you have guys like this guy, who he applied for thirteen point five million dollars in loans, writing fraudulent loan applications under the guise of several companies. He dropped 318000 on this Italian sports car. Well, that's the Lambo. And he had $3.4 million sitting in his bank account. Now, I'm sure he's just accused at this point. I'm sure it's just uh, alleged. So uh, until he's convicted of such crimes. But uh, he claimed he operated four companies with dozens of employees and $4 million in monthly expenses. He pulled in three payments of $3.9 million. And, uh, I mean, I can't really say that he doesn't have companies. I don't know. It was a very uh, limited investigation here. But certainly, there's going to be a lot of people angry that he's mm -hmm. using this money meant to help. They, they may have been deno uh, denied their PPP, mm -hmm. and they really needed to survive. And meanwhile, he over here with the, with the Lambo. But it does really expose, Will, something at the root and the core of human nature that's uh, problematic. Where there is an opportunity to scam, there will be scam. Oh, yeah. And the when there's hand people handing out money, it, it at a scale or a scope, an impossible scale like this, it how are you not gonna have this happen? Yeah. And and then how are you not gonna how are you gonna catch everyone? And then you don't catch everyone, and then how are you gonna stop everyone? from telling everyone else about the, how fantastic the scam was. So then every, then you increase the number of scammers. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's just a real problem just with humans in general. And, and I'm not saying... We, we have, there's a susceptibility. You see this guy roll up in the Lambo and go, yeah, they get, I got it from the government. And then I'm sitting there working. Yeah. And I'm sitting there the slaving in the... Uh, what is it? The essential as an essential worker or something i'm a nurse or something huh. and this guy rolls up on the ppp with the lambo my yeah. goodness it makes me want to just chuck the whole thing out it makes me not even want to participate it makes me not even want to be productive so it's a real risk factor we all have to think about when these programs roll out is can we really manage it and how do we uh how do we really reasonably stop these types of things from happening yeah because it it's gonna be expected oh it's gonna happen expectations it's gonna happen and and human beings have tried a number of experiments over the years on how to live and how to distribute uh finances mm -hmm. and they all haven't worked out they don't all work out mm -hmm. so we just keep that in mind huh? we just keep that in mind but shout out to the small businesses. Shout out to the small businesses right now that are doing it and hanging in there and, 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 and keeping people employed in this particular time. Shout out if that's any one of anybody mm -hmm. that's doing that and doing it the real way and the right way and putting in the work. I feel that.